lot of rupees here, so let's keep moving here. Oh, good heavens here. Now, I've been told this is everyone's favorite dungeon. For this reason. Hey everyone, this is Captain Pound LP here. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we started Stone Tower Temple, and now we're going to resume Stone Tower Temple. We got, we completed about, I'd say, a good fraction of it. I would say maybe one third of it since the last time. But we're in an easy spot, so we can just go ahead and go back at will. We don't have to go very far, fortunately for us, so... So let's go ahead and play the Elegy of Emptiness as we return. And I'm going to make a thing here. As you may notice, Producer Guy Phil was not here in the last episode, and he will definitely not be here for reasons that will remain confidential for various reasons. So, having said all that, we're going to continue on. Oh, I will beat this boss in his name. Let's just say that. Okay? Okay, let's get going here. Alright, so we got to do this again. We, we don't have to go very far to... return to our original rooms. I return to Slam. No, I'm not going to say that. Alright, so we now are playing the LG up this. We now have the gateway. We're gonna have to do this every time, and I know I was kinda cheap last time I used the Song of Soaring just to get to here, but what can I say, you know? <laughs> I had to be I'm sometimes a cheap person. Whatever. 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 Magic room filled up, so let's go ahead and rearm our arrows, get our bunny hood again. So that we may return to the proper area a little bit more quickly. This is just freaky. And what are what's your middle finger going up there for? Seriously, man. Have a little class. But evidently, they didn't think the goddesses very well, as you may tell. We are now back inside the temple and just kind of avoid all this because we already been through here. Go away, bombs you. And might as well just... You obviously, I blow up for obvious reasons. So, and it's still kind of dark. So I'm going to actually go ahead and turn up the brightness just a little bit. Um, it's, I don't know why this is actually a little darker than usual. It's still very light, I think. I think that's good. Alright, I think that's the best this is going to do. Uh, this is so ironic that it's this dark, but... But we're here anyway. We've reached back to the point of return and stop flickering. Thank you. Alright, so we already did this room. Oh, actually, we did not do this room. I'm sorry to say. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take the bunny hood off. And since we're not going to have any interruptions, I'm just going to put on the stone mask for a little bit. Clear this room of these black bows here. Because so we're going to need Darmani here. Let's see what's in these pots. We do need to kind of keep up with our magic. Go ahead and change into Darmani here. And <laughs> a handprint in midair, so hey. You're not going to get me, guys. I mean, seriously. It's 
Soul Max will probably help you just a little bit. I think this is not, that is not the right one. Well, phooey. Looks like there's lines, but it's actually rays of light. Now, I thought that would have been the one. I guess it was not. Alright, never mind. I think it's the middle one. Nope. Well, geez, Paladin, you're just batting a thousand. Well, <laughs> are you the real Sun Mask? Whatever. I don't care. Or we got the ch chest here. <laughs> Jeez. Such pathetic luck that was. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue. Get the Stray Fairy. Most likely that's what it was. Alright, so since we are back through here. Um, we're now into where we have to do a relay. And this is kind of a complicated relay for doing this. I'm just going to use my stone mask to keep myself protected for a little bit. So, you gotta charge this up as much as you can. Now, see, if you don't charge it for long enough, it's not gonna... ...hold for very long, and you have to actually do... ...a little bit more of a complicated relay coming up. So, let's go ahead and do this. We did this long enough. We just need to... ...aim for the sun on that one. And we'll get this. Whoa! Excuse me, sir. That's Neil Huron. Don't get too close. Come on. Doing a shield step. See if I can get to it. Ah, oh, forget it. Ah, pain in the balls. Alright, so we got another straight fair. We are now up to four. Four stray fairies. Now, this next part is going to be a little more complicated. I'm going to put the mask back on because I know there's another bow in the area. There's really no point for showing ourselves. Alright, so charge this up as best you can. And granted, this is the last temple. They're going to complicate the puzzles a little bit. Alright, so I think we're going to charge it up just a little bit more. About five... Four, three, two, one. Alright, so got that one. Charge that up with the maximum energy. Get the most with his light. I think that's good enough. There we go. Alright, so we're now got some progress going forward here. Uh, I should have done a shield stab and I didn't think about it. And <laughs> that guy just went, burled back down to the ground. It makes you wonder if he's still around. Come on, you know, when he's in his rolling when he's in his rolling pattern, he's just kinda of difficult to kill, but we got now up to 157 rupees. Which we will be depositing. Oh, and this is gonna be a fun room in the entire game. Or so said by Chuchaka Conroy. <laughs> but this is yeah, the one of the difficult rooms. We got to hit that switch that was back there. And go all the way over here. That's our objective. And it's gonna get little square boxes. This is not so much pixelation in this stupid room. But here we go, and you gotta avoid bouncing off the walls. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Ground pound. Nothing pervy about that. I mean, seriously, I'm honest. At least I'm honest about that. I mean, seriously. L target. Nah, we took our time. Go figure. Alright, moving on, moving on, moving on. Got to do this again. Sucks. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and do this again. This room does cause a lot of trouble for gamers, but it is really relatively simple. You just got to aim properly. With your, with your, one mistake, yeah. One mistake, you're pretty much screwed. And that's how they designed it, too. I mean, that's how they... I'm sure they played test this quite thoroughly and add a little complication to it. I mean, you have to be on the dot. Alright, so let's try this again. Ah, one mistake. You're done. So, let's try that. Ah! Get in through there. Thank you! Oh, man. That took about a minute and a half like it didn't need it to be. Alright, so we gotta go pick up those treasures. And my... My first impressions of this t area was just so. I usually spend like you like hour like an hour one time. Well, I wouldn't say an hour, but maybe like a half, a couple hours of game time more or less, trying to get that figured out. All right, we're gonna actually be using the Deku Scrub. We really don't use the Deku Scrub that much in this game, but we're actually going to be using him. Who would have thunk that? I mean, really. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the flower here. All right, so we need actually before we hit, we hit this, we need to turn left here, and don't forget this because this will make or break your, you know, hundred percent run <laughs> if you don't if you forget that one. So let's, so we can dive off. I wonder how we're gonna do this. Alright. The other way, I'm doing this backwards. Now, this is going to be rather close. Alright, we did it. I guess we had a little bit of a power run forward here, but here is another straight fairy here. So, that makes up to six here, and what are you planning on doing? Would you please blow yourself up? I'm just gonna stay here until he blows up. Where are you at, man? Uh, screw you. I ain't gonna worry about you. A lot of rupees here, so let's keep moving here. Oh, good heavens here. Now... I've been told this is everyone's favorite dungeon. For this reason. <laughs> Alright, we got another Garo here. Yeah, he's a pain in the jackass here. That's a Garo Master. You can't fight him any other. any ordinary Garo, just dodge those swords. Ex Excuse me! Just dodge if you can. Use your shield quite often. Just gonna be. Ugh. Let me get my bunny ears. That might help me dodge a little bit faster. Come on, man. Yeah, put your shield up once you hit him. Make sure he doesn't. When he charges, he don't hit him. If he can. There we go. To think I could be defeated, although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot, that witch has released a sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple. 
It shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens, and the moon is born in the earth, on the, on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die, I shall leave no corpse. That is the law of Ascaro. Well, you're suicidal. I mean, jeez. I guess you guys don't believe in mental stability or anything like that. Well, you just... Alright, I got the message. So now... Like any other dungeon item, interrelated, we got ourselves the final arrow. We got the light arrow. Set it to C to power up your arrows. The light of justice shall target evil. Alright, so we got now the light arrows. That will actually help us be more efficient in getting our 5,000 rupees later on. But for right now, let's just kind of continue on worrying about um, finishing the LP here. Alright, so we got hearts, we got rupees, I guess this is just for refill after your your death match with Garo, so to speak. Alright, so we're almost done with this section of the temple here. We're very close to getting done with this. I mean, I really don't have much supporting commentary, though. I think my commentary stands... You know, with what I've been, you know, saying all along, the Garo is now a power player, but I think they were also somehow in involved. But I don't think they were act the actual people involved, maybe. And where is the freaking? Uh, where is the freaking? Oh, there it is. Oh man, make it tough for me to find this thing. Jeez. Let's see if we can get this. Closer, don't I? I don't make this easy for sure. Alright, get on target. There we go. There we go. Alright, we gotta fight this. I'm gonna just see if we can. There. You're nothing now. And let's do let's do a demonstration of the light arrows and see what happens here. You want to be hit? Yeah. Eat light arrows. All right. Well, I guess he doesn't drop anything. I don't see anything being dropped. Oh well. Oh, f rupees here. <laughs> I did leave some rupees here. But generally, if you use light er light arrows against the, the enemy when using your light arrows, they will generally leave rupees. Uh, so I mean that. That's how it is, I guess. I'm not sure. Just like with fire arrows, you destroy an enemy with fire arrows, you're gonna get um, arrows left behind. And for ice arrows, I'm not even sure. Now there's more rupees over here. Well, I guess I should just go ahead and pick this up, I guess. Let me just see if I can target this thing over here from over here. The music is so good. I, I admire this music so much. I mean, they, when I think of Majora's Mask, I think of this music for some reason. Which is... I think it should have been the major theme of it, but whatever. <laughs> but let's go ahead and target this guy. This is an Igor. Simply attacking it is no good. I say you should pay attention to the subtle changes in its eye. Well... Uh, and just hit, hit it with your eye uh, arrows. I mean, it's all you really gotta do. Hey! Settle down there. I mean, really. So now that we can um, actually go around and complete this area, I, there's actually some stray fairies I would like to actually go around and pick up. We now have seven right now. We, we can go ahead and pick up a few more. Before we actually end this area, I want to be out of here by 6 a.m. for sure. Because that, that's the ideal time. You get this guy here. He's going to be freaking annoying. First things first, though. Let's go ahead and target this thing with a light. Oh. Where are you? There we go. And you too. There we go, too. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our light arrows on. Go ahead. Oh, I already powered him up. Just did it again. Go ahead and 
hit this with a light arrow. And that will cause that to appear upside down, but we're not upside down. It's, it's beginning to look like we're going to have to shake this building up a little bit. But now that we've gotten everything, we I am actually going to go back around and collect some more um, stray fairies. Because if I do that, that will definitely help us in the future. So I'm going to go back and I'll... Let's see here, where can I go though? To, yeah, I'm gonna go and come back in just a little bit. I'll cut ahead to where I want want to meet you at, so. Alright, we're back here, and this is the room I wanted to go to first. Um there was a um chest that we had to open back here. Go ahead and get rid of this. Now that we're back here, we might as well go ahead and do it right now. I mean, there's problem solved. So let's go ahead and just get bombs ready. Alright. Bye-bye. Thank you. And you might as well explode too. Thank you. Alright, another stray fairy that makes number eight. So we're more than halfway. I don't think there is another one in here that we have to worry about. At least I hope we don't, because if I do, then I'm going to be really, 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 really sad. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the cow mask. There's also another area we need to investigate, which is in the main room with all the... Alright, so let's see here. If we don't need to go in there, I don't think we need to go in there again. Always double check your avenues because there's treasure chests everywhere in here. And you want, always want to double check your avenues. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Looks like we're going to need the Zor jump. Well, actually, maybe not. Let's see if we can just. Yeah, we're going to need probably the Zor jump. Yeah, this is going to suck. Can we. No, we can't. We can't do anything about it yet. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do a Zora jump. I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about in here. Alright, so let's do... I don't think there's anything. There we go. Oh, watch out for the guy. He's still in there. It's too bad you can't just use your bombs in here. <laughs> yeah, really. Alright, we're actually, we're pretty much done in here then. Okay, pretty good. Alright, we're now done in here. We really would need to go ahead and hurry back to Clock Town. There's one more thing I want to do before we do head back to Clock Town. It is now 2 a.m. And we're kind of running low on time. We can, probably cannot do that. Let me, no, we can actually not get that, I don't think. No, we can't. Now, I thought it might have been a good idea that we can't... Okay, well, I think we're actually done here. We are now done. We've accomplished what we needed to get done so far in this temple. I think we've achieved a lot. So let's go ahead and whip out our ocarina. Actually, we're not far from the main room. What am I doing? I mean, geez, G Paladin. We can always just leave here. And... What I would like to do now, we're going to end the episode, ladies and gentlemen, because by this time, the milk bar is not open. It will be open until 6 a.m., and I would like to be there before 6 a.m., so I'm going to go ahead, and I think I'll end the episode here. So the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, we'll meet you guys back at the milk bar. Also, I'll deposit all the remaining rupees that I had, all the rupees I had after going to the milk bar, and then we're gonna go back to Ikana Canyon because there's one thing I want to do uh, before we actually um, finish this temple. So I'll see you guys later, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Take care, everyone. Clock down, I say. Clock down.